What's going on? I thought I heard a gunshot. You and an eight-year-old versus three of them, huh? If you two were to die in here, three dead turns to five, and that's my business. You think? Yeah, it looks like. What if you hadn't? Looks like it worked out for you. Probably ought to be a little more careful when using a gun. Noise and all. I'm gonna go make sure the noise didn't cause us any problems. I hope you know what you're doing with her. Yeah, you are. For her sake. Then she's more impressive than I thought. <sighs> are you guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. That's what everybody says. Two people who have a strategic position on you. Anything that gets you killed, or worse, and it tends to come hand in hand with groups of guys in distress. Did you not hear me? We'll see. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. Krista, what's the deal with the train? What's in it? It's okay. Well, there it is. That thing does look safe. I suppose we should... Huh. What's your story? You're not her dad. He down there? To me. Hey, I'm Krista. Does he not answer questions a lot? Should we help you guys out? Okay, then. And everybody down there, they're cool? God damn. The first two things you said don't really go with the third. You always have to worry about new people. Good. A tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it. But if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road. Alone. If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. So says the quiet conductor over here. I guess clamming up around new folks is sort of y'all's thing. But we're not looking for charity. Maybe. We'll see about that. I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. Shit! Run! Guys! I guess you'll have to find out. Stop it. You got this girl shooting guns? You weren't getting one. It's good. She should be able to take care of herself. San Francisco. I blame the one in there. He wanted the great American road trip. Wonderful. You two will be thick as thieves. Who the hell is into Civil War history anyway, other than old white guys? Nothing. Then maybe we won't be around for a while. Maybe ask Omid. He likes to break things. Hey. Now Omid! She's very thorough. We're fine, Clementine. We're fine. I think it's a good idea, figuring stuff out for yourself, for what it's worth. But be smart about it, though, you know? Teach her to scan the area for things. You two should never be looking in the same spot. That's a waste. Stay the hell out of places like that building over there, especially if you don't have more than one way to get out and be more afraid of groups of living men than dead folk. Omid and I are still alive because we're two, not six or eight or ten. I don't believe in strength in numbers, and you shouldn't either. So you take her into a dark, boarded-up building to build character? Ugh! You son of a bitch! Save him! Omid! Omid! Ugh! It's okay, honey. I'm okay. What the hell is wrong with you? Is this how you protect your people? That's a pretty useful radio for her to be holding on to, no? Oh, I understand. Omid! Am I gonna have to tell your people the plan or what? I don't know how much longer he can keep on like this. If his leg gets any worse, we're gonna have to carry him. So when were you gonna tell us about the radio? What's the harm in letting her have it? It doesn't even work. Sorry I spoke. His leg's pretty bad. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. I don't know how much longer he can keep on like this. If his leg gets any worse, we're going to have to carry him. What? No, that's not an option. We can't. You know, since this all started, I've seen the best come out of a lot of people and the worst come out of a lot of others. Guess we know which side you came down on. Go to hell, Kenny. And there'll be boats there? I said Omid needs to rest. Guys, can we stop for one minute? I'm telling you, he can't keep going like this. I'm not leaving him. Yeah, that'd be great. Thanks. Thanks a lot for the support. Maybe this city's not so dead after all. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Wait, where the hell's Chuck? Damn it, Lee. Keep quiet. You're gonna- Shit, it's gonna get infected. We gotta get him inside. Clean him up. Come on, baby. You're not all right. You've reopened your wound. You're losing blood. And God only knows what might have gotten in there. 
It could be infected. It could be... Thanks. Just get us inside the house, will you? Lee, please, we have to get him inside. Please go and help Kenny. We need to get him inside now. Lee, will you please see what's happening with getting us inside? We can't stay out here like this. I said I'm fine, okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. A little harsh on her, don't you think? Sorry, baby. We'll get this cleaned up once we get inside. Damn it, Lee, you're not helping here. Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. We'll work faster, would you? Clementine, honey, come sit with me in Omid. Let Lee work. Not great, so long as we're stuck out here. Will you please go figure out a way to get us inside? Omid! It's okay, honey. Come on. We're almost there. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We've gotta get him inside. Clean him up. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. So... When were you going to tell us about the radio? Sorry, sorry. I don't like people keeping secrets. I especially don't like it when they think it's for my own good. Christ, use your head, Kenny. It's the same guy. He could see exactly where we were from up in that bell tower. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. There's that southern charm again. Nothing to say for yourself? Great. That inspires confidence. What if they're the same guy? So you don't know who that voice was? Why don't I believe you? What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Damned if I know. Maybe they were just trying to mess with us. Wouldn't be the most screwed up thing I've seen these past few weeks, I can tell you. How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. Maybe you're right. But whoever it was, they're watching us, following us, and they don't want us to know who they are. I can't think of any explanation for that that would make me feel better. Can you? I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? That it's working. Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Good. Thanks. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Clementine. Honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He- What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I'm not saying she intended to. But she's just a kid. She doesn't know any better. You never told her not to talk to strangers? I mean, these days more than ever. Well, we'll have time to talk later. Just let me know when you're done searching the house. How's it coming? The guy's losing it. Look, Lee, I know he's your friend and all, but you need to be careful. That man is on the edge, and I don't know if I want to be around when he goes over it. I like it a lot better when we know for sure it's safe. Thanks, Lee. How's the house looking? I hope you're right. For all our sakes. I'd like to believe that. Really, I would. Hey, what's going on? Where's Kenny? Oh, my God. Dead? Like dead? Or what do you mean he's... What do you mean he's taking care of it? What do you mean? What's being taken care of? See what? What's up there? Lee? Lee? What the hell is it? What's going on up there? Here. You didn't want to deal with it. Least you can do is take care of the remains. You couldn't bring yourself to kill him. Least you can do is give him a proper burial. And you just left him up there with Kenny? Lee, what's going on up there? Lee. What's going on? Sounded like a lot to say to a dog. Was it a man or a woman? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Something or someone. Could it have been the guy that's been following us? The voice on the radio? What, Lee? What the hell were you shouting at? Apparently, Lee started having conversations with dogs. Should we be concerned? I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Me either. Walkers are one thing. But the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. He knows what he saw. He just doesn't want to tell us. Lee, what the hell happened out here? So you're just going to leave us here? With whoever was on that radio still out there? Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. I hate to say it, but Kenny's right. Omid's not in great shape to move, but we can't do anything for him here. Without meds or a doctor, he's only going to get worse. Lee, say something. Tell him we're not ready to leave yet. Omid can barely even walk. Are you just going to sit this one out? Great. Just great. Lee, thank God you're back. It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. Oh, thank God. Who's this? What medical supplies? You have to help us. Please. We're fine. Just leave us alone and let the doctor work. Omid, honey, you're gonna be all right. 
Lee brought a doctor. Why are you even still here? Mostly. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Time's the one thing we don't have. Not while Omid's lying upstairs getting sicker by the minute. We need to do something, and we need to do it now. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? We can do this. We have to. Be careful. I'm okay. Vernon did what he could for Omid. But he's got a real infection, and he's running a hell of a fever. I'm worried if we don't get some real medicine in him soon. It'll take as long as it takes, Lee. So what's the good news? Well, what about this Crawford place? Sounds like they'd have everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Help us? How? I think I see one. Over there by the door. No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What about the medicine? I'll go for the medicine. How do you know that? Don't you have your own job to do? We still need that battery. Go on. We got this. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Lee? Come on! What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. It's a sonogram. What the hell kind of place was this? Well, what are you waiting for? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. You're right. I'm sorry. Let's get those meds. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. Put it in. God damn it. This is gonna take forever. We don't have time. Omid needs that medicine. We have to get it open now. Already looked. Empty. Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. Yeah? Look, Lee. I just want to get back to Omid. Let me do my thing, all right? I'm busy, Lee. Just let me work. No. Without the combination, I don't know how we're going to get this damn thing open. If we don't get back to Omid with some medicine soon, that is not going to happen. Do you hear me? That is not going to happen. We're going to get these meds to Omid, and he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine! Then why did you? What's that supposed to mean? Why shouldn't she be? What else were you going to do? Bring her on a dangerous mission? That is not going to happen. Do you hear me? That is not going to happen. We're going to get these meds to Omid, and he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine! Oh, come on! You just dug up a rotting dog carcass! I'm surprised we weren't all throwing up. Lee, I'm fine. Quit worrying about me, okay? Worry about Omid. We've got to get him these meds. I'm fine. Why are you asking me that? Yeah, same here. No offense, but I'm a little busy trying to get this safe open. Omid needs that medicine. Where's Molly? No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What the hell's he babbling about? What do you mean this is all your fault? Well, I vote we leave Ben. I'm sorry. I know you mean well, but you've put us all in danger once too often. Lee, on second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee, so what's your call, Lee? Does Ben go with us? No, what? Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well, but all I want to do is get back to Omid, and you put that at risk. A few rounds. That's it. Look up there! This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. Clementine, come on! Omid! Upstairs? Omid! Omid! I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. We got you medicine. He didn't make it. Yes. Thank you so much. Clementine, what happened here? Clementine... Where's Omid? Lee, get up here! Lee? Lee? You out here? Lee! Whose blood is that? Oh my god. Okay. What do you need from us? We're all responsible for Clementine. She's out there and she needs our help. All of our help. Lee, we're a team. That's how we've made it this far. We're not going to just abandon you. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Especially now. You've earned that much. You've been there for me when it's mattered. How can I not be there for you now? Lee, I'm sorry. We can't. It's too risky for us. I know. But Lee's asking us to put our trust in him. And that's just too hard for me. And I have to put him first. He's not well enough to go off on some rescue mission. He's just not up to it, Lee. And I'm not leaving him again. We're sure, Lee. Just lead the way. Lee, we want to do this. I really am sorry. I hope you find her. 
But you're going to have to do it without us. We've made our decision, Lee. I'm sorry. This wasn't an easy decision, Lee. I want you to know that. We can take care of it. Get it out on the water. Good luck. If someone was going to take it, they'd have done it already. Besides, what choice do we have? What choice do we have? Good luck, Lee. I mean that. I hope you understand. We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. I know. But Lee's asking us to put our trust in him. And that's just too hard after he almost left you behind back on the train. Not after how he almost left you behind. Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Shit! That son of a bitch. We don't have much time. This is bad, but we can deal with it together. We're going to need to hurry. We don't have a lot of time. We three will stop them getting in. How's that feeling? We'll stop them if we have to. Lee, find a way out of here. Stop! He's awake! So? Then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. There's gonna be a shitload of blood. Seriously, it's a big risk. I know it's drastic, but what if it works? It might be the only way. It's not really our call anymore. I think we should do it. We'll be smart about it. And any chance is better than none, okay? Oh, Jesus. Fine. I'll go as fast as I can. <sighs> I don't know if I'd rather be you or me right now. Try to stay still! Gotta tighten the tourniquet! Fuck, fuck, fuck! I can't! Hold on! I know! I'm sorry. Just hold on! We're trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. Of course not. What do you think? Are you sure? Let's go. We've gotta save him. We need every second we have. We have to deal with this bite. Right now. Then you and I go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. Lee, do you think you'll be able to travel? You lost some blood. We'll have time to chit-chat later. That's what I'm saying. Where the hell did they go? Guess it's a good thing they're sealed up then. That'd be too easy, huh? Good. Hurry. Hey, don't worry. We'll find Clementine. You okay, Lee? We'll do it then. The store won't hold forever. Any luck opening that elevator? You got any better ideas? Okay. It's now or never. Shit. Yeah, I just passed out. It's the bite. I don't know. Help me move him. I don't know. He passed out. Come on, help me move him. Shit. He's bitten. Oh my god, you're alive. It was getting to the point where we figured you weren't coming back. Well, you're still alive. That's something. Yeah, there has to be something here that will help. Lee. Find a way out of here. Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. It's not safe down there. We can't just walk through the streets. It's taking an immense amount of willpower to not make a crack about that suggestion, coming from the one-armed man. We'll get to her, Lee. We'll do whatever we have to. We're probably just going to have to pick our time and go. The longer we're up here, the further Clementine could be getting from us. Sounds good. Look. Let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. You think it could have brought them all to us? What about the train? <sighs> we need to get down there and find a scared little girl. Let's try to get our bearings. I don't like anything about this. Hurry. We won't. Now what? Yeah, we do. Yeah, as good as you can be. Omid's right. If you see yourself getting woozy or, you know, if it didn't work, just take it easy. Shut up, Omid. He just wants Clementine back. That's all. Come on, Lee. Just let us know if you start feeling funny. Like, if things are happening. The bells. You shouldn't be the one to go. I'll go. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said, and make sure we didn't overlook anything. Yeah, if half the dead population of Georgia wasn't wandering the streets down there. They're coming this way! Now get back here! Nice! Now let's get the hell out of here! Fuck, be careful! Honestly, my vision isn't great. I think it's allergies or all that shit those walkers are kicking up. You think you could pull all those bastards this way? I'm with you. Just have to get over there. Yeah, someone with priorities? I know, right? You never see anybody in an end-of-the-world story with hay fever. It's not the time to get wistful. We look out for each other, but we sure as hell weren't going to let you go alone. Not with that time bomb chewed into your wrist. What's this, day three? Four? You guys have taken care of us. We take care of you. <laughs> I'm working on it. Are you going to be able to hang in there? We can't stop looking out for each other. Are you okay? Holy. Well, we're not coming back here after we find Clem. You think so? Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. Chill. 
We can do this in the yard. Relax. I don't think she would do that. What do we do without a boat? You know that's what I'm for. I don't know. No, let him. Oh, shit! Hilly, come! You wouldn't have had a boat to lose without us. So shove it, okay? What do you think, Lee? What do we do now without a boat? Don't engage him, Omid. But not here. Look, we know what Lee thinks. Get out of town at least, right? Hey, it's still his little girl out there. She's number one. That's the end of that, okay? We were going to cut it off. But Lee objected. Relax. Ben, what happened? Who? He was bitten. They jumped us. They didn't have Clementine. They took the boat and locked us in here. Open, damn it. Wait, what the fuck is that on your wrist? You fucker. God, we would have gone with you. Before we split up? What the hell happened to you? It was Vernon. They were waiting for us and jumped us. They were armed and just, well, we're going after her, right? Clementine is still out there. Vernon probably planned this out the second he laid eyes on that boat. Then don't. Go your own way. He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who've been dealing with shitty situations even longer than we have. No wonder they got the jump on us. We'll never find them. They didn't use shit. They did what anybody would have done. They've been living like ghosts forever and they were fed up. That's it. That's great that you can be tough about it. But how do you feel? Look, I agree with you. I think out in the country is the safest place to be. But you're not dead yet. So put a pin in that, okay? We all do. Even you. Quit talking like you're already dead. Boats, towns, hopes. Lee, people end up dead chasing impossible things. I know you're probably preoccupied, but don't stop thinking about the future, okay? We can secure this place. Got it. On it. Ugh. I'm checking the living room. Everyone else, look for weapons. Cut their fucking arms off! Hurry! What are you doing? Cut them off! <sighs> this place seems sturdy to me. I think we're fine. Yeah, I think so too. Lee's right. This place is secure. We're patient, and then we get going. Ah! Everyone get to the end of the hallway. Chop their damn arms off! And when we see an opening, we go for it. 20. Get ready. Up! I'm out! Ugh. Three. Everyone okay? Shut up. We're no good to Clementine dead. Check the floor for any other access. A vent. Anything. Not much. Hey, you're not looking great. And you're warm. I'm sure you're... We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. Omid, knock it off. What did that mean? Yeah. Yet. Calm down. Calm down. I do. We should have made you take it off. Who's Larry? Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Shut up, sweetie. Look, what's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? We're not lifers on Alcatraz here. We can't spend the next three months digging through a wall. We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us, which would have been a mistake. I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. I can't believe you didn't tell us you were bitten because you were scared yourself. You thought we'd turn on you. I'm sure that's what that Larry guy or whoever said. No, except make sure Clementine had someone coming for her that wasn't liable to die on the way there. Not ours? Not Clementine's? Well, it was a dumb thing to do. Omid and I have shown you who we are. You could have trusted us. You were scared. I don't blame you. His license was suspended. Twice. I don't know, sweetie. You're scared shitless by so many little things. I like to think you triumph with the big ones. Wish you would have taken it off. You don't mean that. What do you think the odds are of that? It's so weird. I keep doing a double take on your arm, expecting it to be there. Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. There's gotta be something. What good is it for you to give up? You cut it off. Stop it. We're not doing this right now. Don't do this. I hear you, but I'm not having this conversation. He's not. We're not having that conversation yet. What do you mean by that? That's it? He's a risk to the group, but yeah, I feel bad for him too. Poor kid. Even if he is a bit of a dumbass. It's good that he did. Kenny couldn't pull that shit on me. Jesus. You want me to do it? Yeah, of course. At least he told us. How are you? You've lost more than anyone. I'm sorry. Well, as much as anyone. I'm just asking him how he is. <sighs> I agree. I just wanted to say, you've all lost a lot. We're still here, though. Chill. I know you want to get out of here. Omid's making good progress. He's having a rough go. Bits and pieces. Has much changed? You did that? Like you guys didn't have enough problems without punching each other in the face? Well, look at him. Larry didn't make it out. What did you do? And you're both here now, trying to help each other. 
This place seems pretty sealed off. Well, yeah. We've seen so many people. I don't know why these ones break my heart. Yeah, let's go. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. Nothing other than personal items in here. I guess Crawford would have gotten them anyway. Let's keep going. Be careful up here. Be care- Oh, shit. What happened? What the fuck happened? I heard a shot. I heard a couple shots. You needed a miracle. It's not your fault, Lee. Lee, you okay? Let's keep at it. Hey, my parents' house looked a lot like this. And they watch kung fu movies. Just saying. Yeah. We've seen so many people. I don't know why these two break my heart. We'll keep an eye out. Be careful. You saw them die? I'm sorry, Lee. We should go. Do you want to talk? I guess that's a no, then. I know we can't just take a minute, but you're not a machine. Soon as someone dies, they don't immediately have to have their sins forgiven. I understand. Keep a clear head, Lee. Look, Lee, this is a shitty time, but I want to clear something up. Clementine, I know Kenny was your guy. Well, no, there isn't. I don't care that he's who you wanted, but I want you to know that you don't need to worry. That's enough. She'll be fine, Lee. We do our best. You know that. I should be asking you that. It's nothing. Let's just keep moving. I just saw your friends get killed. That's all you can do. Now with Kenny, gone, means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. That's not what I mean, necessarily. <sighs> just fuck. You don't have to worry about anything, okay? Not that it seems like you are. That's that, then. Fuck. Be careful across here. Even the buildings are full. He didn't mean to. You can hear him, right? <sighs> Well, Lee's right. No, we don't. I just did. And when we don't, and when we don't know where to begin to look, any clue, even the smallest one, is invaluable. We need that thing. Guys, ah, uh, fuck it. We need it back. Yes, I got it. Get me up. Past would be good. No, and that's the problem. Get me out of here now. I am jumping. It's pitch black down here. Fuck, I hear something. I am ready to get out of here. Good, thanks. <gasps> I know he did. He... Maybe he's not. He could be okay. What if he doesn't? They're not in here. At least I don't think so. Are you okay? Do you want to talk? This is a shitty time, but I want to make sure we're clear before we go forward when it comes to Clementine. I don't know what you mean. I was in trouble. How are you feeling? I meant what I said about Clem. You sure? Well, Omid and I will go first. We'll be able to help you across then. What does that mean? It's fucked, Lee. Lee, you're crazy. Jesus, we we'll be there. What if we'll find you? Don't get yourself killed. You're the lightest, Omid. I'll follow right after you. You're the lightest. We're going to have to go as quiet as possible and see if we can make it to an empty floor or even the roof. You think it's possible for you? There's some light up there. <gasps> that was fucking close. No! Lee, Lee. Oh, God. Are you alive? Get up. You have to pull yourself up. You can do it. Pull yourself up. Good job. Jesus Christ, Lee. Good luck, Lee. I mean that. We'll look for Clementine together. I hope you find her. But you're gonna have to do it without us. We are not doing that. Omid, you can't be serious. We're not calling our baby Omid. One of you is enough. Because. No. No. Clementine, a little help here? Yeah, the ring of an egotistical maniac. You always agree with him. Yeah, well, my vote counts for two. Are you going into labor soon? No? Then don't talk to me about fair. But I'm Krista. I don't want to call her Krista. That's just confusing. How can you not care? You're not taking this seriously. Keep talking, and you'll be sleeping in the rain tonight. Remember that time in Barstow? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, me. Oh, me. Oh, me. Can you hear me? Oh, me. Oh, God. Oh, me. This rain will turn to sleet, then ice, then snow. It won't be easy. <sighs> See if you can get the fire lit. You just keep the fire lit. I'm gonna go look for more wood. You should be doing this, not me. Tending a fire so you can cook and stay warm. It's something you have to be able to do, Clementine. Otherwise, we just need to keep moving north. I'm sure you do. Tending a fire so you can cook and stay warm. 
It's something you have to be able to do. Otherwise, all we do is wait. And for what? I know what Omid said. All we do, all we have ever done is move. But we never seem to get anywhere. Trust? You think you can trust someone out here? Not now. Not anymore. We need to eat, don't we? We can't survive without food. We'll try the best we can. This will never work. Just our luck. I, I'm by myself. Ah! Clementine, run! It's, it's just me. You think this is bad? Wait till we get up to Wellington. Then talk to me about cold. Safer, maybe. So they say. But I don't know. If we make it that far, we'll see. We just need to keep moving north. Safer than here because of the cold. Or so they say. We sure as hell can't stay here. Maybe. I don't know. We just need to keep moving north. Wellington's a long way from here. We just need to keep moving north. I'll go get more wood. There's only so much I can do. If we make it. <sighs> Look at this. It's pathetic. The wood's too wet to burn. It's more smoke than flame. At this rate, we'll be eating this for breakfast. Find something that'll burn, maybe. I don't know. Won't be easy in the dark and in the rain. We still have a couple hard months ahead of us.